So I basically, I've got a Mesmir fight with like two of my Ant Spear Rapiers, but I've tweaked with the uh, build a bit, so I haven't got a boss to showcase to be honest yet. I'm not at one, so look out for more videos essentially on the when I get to some of the bosses, but it's like my last like little thing to do today. I'm not playing it any much. I'm not playing much more. I mean, fucking hell, I can't speak. <laughs> so essentially, I'm using three <laughs> ant spur apiers, and you'd be like, what the fuck? Why the three? So essentially, uh, to showcase it like this. So I always start off with the frost one which has the chilling mist on and then this one's always active the poison mist and the blood loss one so essentially we start off by using golden vow then i use bestial vitality because it's just nice having health gain while you're fighting the boss sometimes then i use black flame to literally have amazing physical negation Activate my poison mist one, and then you just restock in your thing, and you're using your physic, which involves. I've just got the opaline hard tier and the thorny cracked one, and then you're pretty much good to go to start scrapping with this. And you want to try and proc your frost. Once you get the frost bite on the enemy, you switch over to the other ant spur rapier, which is the poison one, and this one has the poison flowers bloom twice. Uh, Ash of War, which is essentially this bad boy. It's very good because it does more damage when the enemy has poison propped. So you're just focusing on getting poison or scarlet rot propped, which you'll know procs because, yes, they're taking constant damage and you get the green glow around you because your Kindred of Rot exaltation has propped as well. So as soon as that procs, you try and get your L2 off. And then you do a massive amount of damage. And then you just continue to wail and try and proc as more as you go. So talent wise I'm using Shard of Alexander to boost my L2s on all of these bad boys. Um, obviously Kindred of Rot because they're basically always having either Poison or Scarlet Rot procced on them. So it's just nice to have. You'll always have a 10%. Um, using this to boost up the um, physical negation just because it's ridiculously good for the DLC. That's, a lot of enemies do physical attacks, <laughs> so yeah, you'll be wanting this. Uh, I'm using this just for the dex boost value, but you can use like Rotten Wing and stuff. I don't currently have it on this character because I've probably transferred it over to my other characters to play around with so I don't have to do the quest line all the time. Um, so yeah, basically just using that as a setup. Armor, you can actually wear decent armor and get some poise, but for just like the aesthetic, I just wear the Rotten Duelist set and obviously alter the chest piece one just because I really like the look of it. It looks fucking sick. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the build essentially. It's really fucking good and obviously I also use boiled crabs for when my black flame runs out and I can't proc it back mid fight I'd rather just eat a crab because it's a bit quicker I also take advantage of obviously let me go on the crafting of the lightning like the holy proof ones like this holy proof pickle is very good for uh, obviously the final boss so you sort of just play around with negations obviously you can use get some well pickled turtlenecks which are amazing for getting stam regen back but for the most part, if you're not fussed about using any craftables, it's generally just this setup I'm using currently. It's really fun. Really OP. As long as you know the bosses, you don't really need armor. So yeah. This is my current new game plus character that I'm going through with. So for me at least, it's very fucking fun to use.